Here to help us navigate those rental car extras that can cost hundreds of dollars is Mark Arwal, <laughs> our old buddy, international editor of Travel and Leisure magazine. Mark, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Russ. So are, 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 they, are they purposely nickel and diming us to death? You know, they are, first off, a lot of the things that we get charged for are really out of the car rental company's uh, control. There are county taxes, there are airport taxes, there are concession fees, all sorts of things. So a lot of this stuff is, and they can add up to 25% of the cost of the oh rental goodness. car. Yeah, so it's, it, it, you're going to get socked. Let's talk about that rental car agreement that Jerry was just talking about. Oh, you, you we, got that, one here. Actually, most people probably, understand what you know, they're signing up for. This is longer than the Declaration of Independence, <laughs> by the way, it, and, and more in-depth. And I'm one of the few people who actually gets a kick out of reading them. The, 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 you are really reliant on the person behind the counter to sort of explain to you, because who's going to sit down and spend an hour reading this? Right. It, and yeah, you, 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 but you have to be careful, because this is, you're talking about a lot of money involved here. Well, let's talk about some of the things that we do have control yeah. over. Rental insurance. Should you always take the rental insurance or always decline it? Well, there's no always involved. It's in your own personal situation. If you have a car and you have personal car insurance, the chances are pretty good that you have a clause in there that's going to cover you if mm. you rent a car. Talk to your car insurer okay. to be sure. Also, if you do have, unlike what Jerry was saying, if you do have a premium level card, like a, a gold card or a platinum a charge card, that those will often cover you as well, but check with your card issuer. Don't buy unnecessary insurance. It can be $20 or more a day. So there's no minimum amount of insurance you, sh insurance you should buy on these. Just check with your card company, check with their insurance covered, company. If you're covered, if you're covered, then you're covered. You don't need to buy extra insurance. Okay. When you're at the counter, they're offering you all these things. Is it kind of like being at the movies when they say, you know, for 50 cents more, you can have a medium? Yeah, they do. Are, are, they, are they pressured to do these they, things? Yeah, they, you, you do get the, the, the high pressure sell, and they can sometimes even scare you into yeah. buying things that you don't need. So be aware of that. What I love is the prepaid gas option. No, they say, you know, you're going to sign up now or you want to bring it back and pay 900 bucks a gallon or yeah. something like you, that. You love, you, you love hating it, I hope, because <laughs> you always want to decline the prepaid gas option. Basically, what they're doing is they're selling you the tank of gas in the car when you rent it, and they say, just bring it back on empty. It's impossible to do. Unless you can coast in on fumes, you're going to have some <laughs> gas in that tank. And at four bucks a gallon, you're giving that gas back to them as a gift. I can't afford to do that. I'm not that generous. I don't think most people are. Fill it up yourself. Yeah, what company charges $9 a gallon? Well, that's how, how do they do that? Well, look, I mean, they can charge whatever they want to fill. If you don't bring it back with a full tank of gas, then they, they're going to fill it up. And they're going to charge you 9 bucks a gallon and hit you on your credit card with it. Right. So stop by a gas station about two or three miles away from the airport, not right next to the airport. <laughs> they have higher prices there. Fill it up yourself and save yourself the money. The, the damage form that many rental companies make you sign before you're driving the car out. How do you handle those? All right. Do walk around the car. Make sure that you notice any, any dings, any scratches, a crack in the tail light anything and mark it down on the form they're going to give you. Also, I I'll always take a picture. This is my BlackBerry. If you have a digital camera, a smartphone, take a picture of all four sides of the car when you, before you leave and also when you drop it off just to make sure that you have proof that if the car gets damaged after you drop it off, Nobody can say you did it. You've mm. got photographic proof. Oh. So you got to watch out for yourself, Russ. That's the bottom line yeah. here. Nine bucks a gallon. <laughs> Too much. Oh, thanks a lot, Marco. <laughs> well, we appreciate your thanks. advice, as always.